In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to correctly set up the connections, apply three different types of loads, and a gravitational acceleration to the solid signpost problem. We start off by going into the ANSYS mechanical by double-clicking on model in the ANSYS workbench window. And in ANSYS mechanical, we're going to start off by looking at the connections group. So we maximize the connections tab. And first off, we're going to right-click connections and create automatic connections. And then maximize the contacts folder. And if you notice, this might look a little different than your screen. Um, I have right-clicked and renamed based on definition. And what this does is makes it a little bit clearer. You can see what type of connection you have. Then you can see what two things are connected to one another. And if you click on the first automatic connection, you notice it made a connection between the post and the base of the sign. And this is correct. We're going to leave it as is. The bonded contact basically creates a rigid contact between these two pieces of geometry. And then the next contact is between the post and the WX2 application surface. This is as we want it. We leave it. And then you look at the last one that's been created. It is between the sign and the WX2 application service as well. We want to keep these as bonded contacts because we don't want to really create a new piece of geometry. We gave the WX2 surface an arbitrarily thin thickness. And it's basically just a means of applying the spatially variable pressure. So from here, we can minimize the connections tab and begin applying the loads. So we're going to start off with the point force FY1. We do this by left clicking on static structural, insert force. And now what we want to do is select the vertex which we'll be applying this force. So under selection, we click vertex. And then we want to find that point which is in the center. Once you find it, click on it and hit apply. And this point was built into the geometry. And now we want to apply an 8,000 pound force in the y direction. So under defined by, switch it from vector to components. And under the y component, type in 8,000. And just for clarity, I like to rename these to match the problem statement. And the next load we will be applying is the WZ1 uniformly distributed load across the top surface of the sign. Do this by left clicking static structural insert force. And this time we are going to be applying it to the face, the top face. So we click on the top face, click apply. Again, I like to switch this to components. And what it comes out to be is negative 11,700 pound force. So 11,700 pounds. This comes from multiplying the 900 pounds per foot by the span of the sign, 13 feet. And can rename this as well to WZ1. Next, we will be working with the spatially variable pressure, WX2. So right click and insert a pressure. And this is going to be applied to the WX2 application surface. Select that and hit apply. Now the way we're going to enter the spatially variable pressure is going to be under magnitude and we're going to enter a formula for a linearly increasing pressure. We do this by typing in equals 0 0.0803755 times the component Z and hit enter. 
Now you can see we have a linearly increasing load from zero to the maximum value. And if you zoom to the bottom, you can see that you have the minimum pressure. And as Z increases, we get to the maximum pressure at the top. So rename this to VUX2. And now we will be applying the gravitational acceleration. We do this by left clicking, insert, and standard earth gravity. Well, this is going to be applied to all bodies. The, the piece up here, the sign is massless, so the acceleration won't affect that piece. It will really only be affecting the post itself. And last but not least, we want to apply a fixed support at the base. We do this by selecting the base space and hitting apply. And now we have all loads and the standard earth gravity that we wanted to apply. So that will be the end of this tutorial.